If I ask you to go to an Amara Sanchar to speak to the Panji Piyare, there are two things that might occur in your mind. Number one, I'm not ready to take Amrit yet. So why should I meet the Panji Piyare in an Amrit Sanchar? Number two, I've already taken Amrit, but I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do any mistake. So why should I meet the Panji Piyare in an Amrit Sanchar? Watch this video till the end to find out why the Panji Piyare system is very important in our Panta apart from an Amrit Sanchar. When we look at a village, especially in India, Every village, they have this system called Panchayat. Panchayat is basically where five leaders or five Gursiks or five heads of that village, they come together and they help to make decisions for the village or they help to solve problems in the families in the village or they help to come up with suggestions or ideas to make the village's lives even better. Now, in our Panta, in the Sikh Pant, we have the same system and this is a system of the Panj Pyare or five Gursiks when they get together. In Jabji Sahib Guru Nadeji says, Panj Parvan, Panj Pardan, so the number five. Now, if we look at one of the artha, one of the meanings of this Pankti, Guru Sahib also speaks about the five Gursiks when they come together. And in Pai Gurdas Diyanwara, Pai Gurdas Ji says, Ek Sikh, Doi Saad Sangati, Panji Parmeshar. That when one Sikha is alone, that Sikha is just called a Sikha. When two Sikhs come together, they become a Saad Sangat. So they do Sangat of each other. But when five Chardikala Gur Sikhs, Tiyar Bartiyar, Rahatwan Gur Sikhs, when they come together, Panji Parmeshar, five of them come together and they become the very form of Parmeshar, they become the very form of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. So, why am I speaking about this? Now, as a baby doing Parchar, every day we get questions from the Sangat regarding health issues, domestic issues, marriage life concerns. You know, for example, health issues is like I've got disease related to my case or I have to shave my hair. I've got hair growth in different areas of my body, which I'm not comfortable with. What should I do? or when it comes to domestic violence, or when it comes to marriage issues, children. So we are all just human beings. And one person, myself, if I'm speaking for myself, I do not have all the experience of life to be able to help you. Now, who have been given the authority to make decisions, very difficult decisions for the Panta, and that is the Panj Pyare, or the five Gursiks in each region or every country. So Panj Pyare are given the authority to make decisions for the Panta. I cannot make a decision because what if I say something or any other Sikha, if we say something or we suggest something to you, and what if it goes the other way around? Or what if people come and point finger at us? So this is where, especially when it comes to difficult situations or where we have to take difficult decisions, one person cannot make the decision for you. What you can do, or rather what you should do, is you should bring your matters to the Panch Pyare and ask them to help you out. So let me give you some scenarios. Now, we assume that Panch Pyare, they are only there to conduct an Amra Sanchar. That is one of the biggest seva of Panch Pyare, which is why for a singer to do seva in Panch Pyare, their jivan, their life has to be so chardikala they have to be parpakha, they have to be so strict with their rahat, they have to follow exactly what the Guru says and make sure that they are walking, talking parchar and the pakti that they do, the amount of meditation that they do, all of their pakti goes into the amrit that they are preparing for the abalakis. Which is why to do seva in Panj Bihare is not an easy task. So rest assured, if those Gursiks have been given the duty to do seva in Panj Bihare, they are of caliber and they are responsible Gursiks to do that seva. So, my personal experience as well, I've approached the Panj Pyare not just to take Amrit or for Peshi, but I've approached the Panj Pyare to do an Ardas for me, for my health situation. Now, what can you do? If there are certain issues in your life that you are not comfortable speaking to people, because again, Sangaji, you must remember, if we speak about our problems to somebody else, for example, even to myself, right? We have that fear. The first fear is, I'm not confident 
to speak about my problem to somebody else because what if they judge me? The second fear is if I do speak about my problem to another person, what is the guarantee that they will not share my problem or my story with other people? Now, here is where the panjapiare are very important to us. Panjapiare, in an Amrath Sanchar especially, in front of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, they are under an oath that whatever happens in the Amrath Sanchar, whatever is being shared by the Abalakis in an Amrath Sanchar, it stays within the Amrath Sanchar between the panjapiare. They are not supposed to and they cannot share the identity of the Sikha who have come to the Amrath Sanchar and what they have shared. So everything is secret, everything is secured and everything is protected. The panjapiare are being protected and also the one who is sharing their dukkha, they are also being protected as well. So that is our first fear gone. Second thing, panjapiare are the form of Guru Gobind Singh Ji themselves. So when we go to the panjapiare and we ask them for an advice, or we ask them, Ki, I have this dukkha, this challenge, please help me. The panjapiare, they can do an ardas for us. Now imagine having the panjapiare, which is a form of Guru Gobind Singh themselves, doing an ardas for you. Tell me, how much faith do we have that the ardas that the panjapiare do will be fulfilled and will be listened to? I have that 100% faith. I am speaking right now in front of the camera, speaking to you. And this is because of the ardas the Panjpiare did for me. That my health, that Guru Sahib gave me good health, and that is how I came out from cancer. So I have 100% faith that the ardas the Panjpiare do will be fulfilled and will be listened to. That is how powerful the ardas of the Panjpiare are. Now the third thing, difficult situation, especially when it comes to case, keeping your rahat or if, if, if in regards to your job and it clashes with your rahat, no one else can make the decision for you but only the panjpiare. So what can we do now? Where can we meet the panjpiare? Yes, in this world right now, it is very difficult to gather five gursiks together. If you are very lucky to be living in a town where we have sangats of gursiks, what you can do is you can do bainti for five gursiks to come together and help you out, give you advice or help you solve your problem. Which is why in our Sikhi Taram, Gursiks used to call Panjasenga to the house to do Panjasenga Dalangar. It's the same concept as well. When you call five Gursiks to your house and serve them Langar, you are serving Guru Sahib Langar. So what if you cannot have access or you do not have access to five Chardikla Gursiks in your town, in your city or wherever you are? Then the next best thing to do is to find where an Amr Sanchar is happening and go and meet the Panjapiari there. So again, Amr Sanchar, yes, the main objective is to go and take Amrit or if we have done any mistake, go to the Panjapiari to speak to them and tell what mistakes we have done so they can give us the correction. Otherwise, if again, you are not having the intention to take Amrit or you have already taken Amrit but you have not done anything wrong, doesn't mean you cannot go to an Amrath Sanchar. Go to the Amrath Sanchar, speak to the Paradar, the guard standing in front of the room or the bar side. Tell them, I would like to speak to the Panjpiare because of a situation I'm in or a problem or something to do with my Rahat. What can you do? Go to the Panjpiare and speak to them. Now the Panjpiare will listen to you and they will help you out in whatever situation or challenges that you are facing. That is the power of the Panjpiare or the five good six when they come together. And rest assured, when it comes to difficult situation, especially when it comes to um, situation or challenges involving case or rahat, workplace, or especially at home with our partner, with the family, whatever it may be, health issues, you know that whatever decision the Panjpiare take, it will be a good decision based on Gurmat because it is in the presence of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. And furthermore, when they do an ardas for you in the form of Panjpiare to Guru Granth Sahib Ji, rest assured, Guru Sahib will speak through them to you as well. So do not be afraid to meet the Panjpiare. Yes, we must have that loving fear that the Panjpiare are the form of Guru Gobind Singh Ji themselves. So the kind of fear we must have is, I do not want to do anything wrong to upset my Guru. When I go to the Panjpiare, I always look down because I can't look at their eyes 
because they are the former Guru Gobind Singh Ji. And in my heart, my mind, I have that mindset and parosa that I am physically facing Guru Gobind Singh Ji and they are listening to me. So go and meet the Panch Pyare. If you cannot have access to five Gursik to help you out in your situation, don't be afraid. You can go to an Amrit Sanchar to speak to the Panch Pyare, regardless whether you're going to take Amrit or not. Let me know in the comments below on how you have interacted with the Panch Pyare or apart from taking Amrit, how have the Panch Pyare or how have the five Gursiks helped you out in your life? So, Pulla Chukandikima, Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.